16 billion that's how many fresh passwords just splashed onto the open internet yesterday this isn't just another password leak what just happened is probably the most operationally dangerous breach of access credentials we've ever seen and it's not been understood for what it really is i will tell you what this actually means how it works under the hood and what you need to do right now especially if you care about privacy and digital security on more than just a surface level so let's get to it the first question on your mind could be what actually was leaked well from information we now have a threat actor uploaded a stealer log database named inter to a publicly exposed malware command and control panel this log contains nearly 16 billion credential entries and this is not just old passwords from 10 years ago the archive includes at least 26 million new entries collected between january and february 2024 now that's really really fresh data these malware types are not theoretical they are actively running on infected systems quickly collecting urls usernames plain text passwords autofill data cookies session tokens and even browser fingerprinting details and this happens all without triggering alerts for most antivirus tools this isn't just a database someone bought this is raw unfiltered output from infected machines logs that are directly infiltrated by info stealers now i know in the past you've heard a lot about password leaks but this really is not that here is where most people are fundamentally misunderstanding the severity the typical password leaks usually involves old breaches script from linkedin adobe dropbox etc usually hashed outdated and recycled this isn't that these logs are live device captures every row represents a real infection a real user a real browser and each log contains not only credentials but something far more dangerous your session cookies now if this confuses you a session cookie is what your browser stores after you log in it basically tells the site this user has already authenticated let them in if an attacker has access to your session cookies they really do not need your passwords they don't need 2fa and they can load that cookie into their own browser and impersonate you immediately on services like gmail paypal apple id banking sites or corporate tools now it's scary because millions of these session cookies from the exploit were still valid at the time of analysis this means that accounts could be hijacked silently without a login event or without even triggering any kind of alerts this is post authentication access not a login not brute force but direct session level impersonation but then let's talk about who is affected yes consumers are exposed but more importantly so are enterprise environments many logs included credentials for aws azure github accounts vpn portals remote desktop sessions internal dashboards and management consoles now in the hand of a motivated attacker this isn't about hijacking netflix no this is how supply chain attacks ransomware deployments and espionage campaigns begin with a single stolen cookie and password and because these logs are indexed by url the attacker can search specifically for target platforms so they may decide they want shopify credentials and filter by domain or if they need access to cpanel office 365 or salesforce it's so searchable for them now this makes exploitation extremely fast and efficient it lowers the barrier to targeted attacks but with the scale of this attack 16 billion you might be wondering why so many people do not know that they have been compromised well there's one important thing to note info stealers do not crash your machine they don't encrypt your files they don't show a pop-up they are quiet invisible they steal zip send data often in less than 60 seconds 
Antivirus tools are often blind to them, especially when delivered via cracked software, fake updates, or malicious browser extensions. And this is actually why this breach really, really matters. Every single role in that 16 billion log is not a theoretical breach. It's a confirmation that a real system was infiltrated and its browser exfiltrated. So if you see your credentials in this leak, it's not just a warning, it's proof of compromise. That said, I guess the most important question is what must you do now? And this is probably the essence of this entire video. First, go and check if your credentials were exposed. You may use the Cyber News Leak Checker. It's updated with entries from this breach, so just type your email and click search and find out if you were affected. The second thing you must do right now is change your credentials tied to a leaked domain. This is even more true, especially if you've reused them elsewhere. Now, once you've done that, go and purge all your active sessions. On all services that you care about, force logouts on all devices as well. This will invalidate any stolen session cookies that are still active. Once you've done that, enable and enforce two-factor authentication. Yes, it's true that session hijacks can bypass 2FA. But for fresh logins, TOTP-based two-factor authentication still matters, so don't skip this. Now, audit your browser and environment. If you use Chrome without extension monitoring, you are at risk. I would rather recommend that you switch to a hardened browser like a Firefox fork with containers or Brave browser with fingerprint protection. If you're wondering what browsers protect your privacy the best, you might check out my privacy browser tier list. That's a good starting point. And lastly, use a dedicated password manager. When I talk about a password manager, usually I'm referring to a password manager that does not store your data in the browser. Browser stored password managers are the easiest target for info stealers. You usually will prefer a password manager that stores everything offline. Now I have done a password manager tier list. You might check that out and select one that suits you the most. That said, this very attack changes everything we know about threats. In fact, the entire threat landscape. This breach is a mirror. It doesn't just reflect bad password practices. It reflects the scale of silent malware infections happening globally right now without people knowing. It even shows that privacy conscious users are vulnerable if their endpoint is compromised. Your encryption, your strong passwords, your VPN, all of that becomes meaningless if your session tokens are stolen. The perimeter is no longer just your account, it's your device. If you really care about your privacy, you need to start threatening your personal computer as part of your security infrastructure. Hardy needs scan for info stealers, monitor outbound traffic, restrict privilege escalation, and stop trusting browsers to store anything sensitive. We are entering an era where the biggest breaches aren't databases, they are you your session, your cookies, your keystrokes. The tools are getting better, but so are the attackers. If you want to stay ahead, you have to understand threats below the surface. And that's what we help you do on this channel. So subscribe if you want more of that. And if you've learned something today, share this video, like it as well. Most people still think this is just a password problem. It's not. Till the next one, stay safe out there.